I want to talk to you today about 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. It says, We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. I really love this passage. I think it's such a critical truth for us, and Paul gives us some very important lessons. He reminds us that, first of all, thoughts are constantly going to present themselves to cause us to question God. Like This is the Christian life. Remember, he's talking to Christians at the church of Corinth. So even people who love Jesus and surrender their life to Christ, we're going to have times where we're wrestling with thinking that sets us against the truth of God. It could be pain in our life. It could be disappointment, uh, a dream that never was fulfilled. All of those things can cause us to question who God is and what he really said about himself. He says the mind is where the battle really begins. That's the point of this passage. He knows that it's so tempting to spend all of our energy trying to correct our behavior when we haven't really addressed our beliefs. And the enemy would love that. He'd love you to just want to be kinder and more loving and and give more and serve more. And you haven't shifted what your mind believes about God. We cannot have authentic intimacy with God until we uproot the thinking that's creating a barrier between us and who God wants us to be in him. So what does this look like practically? When thoughts enter your mind and you know they might be a little bit out of alignment with what God says is true, ask yourself this, who is this thought from? Is it from me, my own pain, my own disillusionment or disappointment? Is it from the enemy? Sometimes it's literally the enemy giving us ideas that have nothing to do with what God said. If it's from me or from the enemy, then I need to deal with it. I need to arrest it, put it into bondage is what this verse says. So it does not have room to bear fruit in my life. Who was that thought from? And secondly, where is it taking me? If I ask those questions, I promise you, before I start fixing my behavior and working on who I am on the outside, changing my thinking can realign my life and show up in every area in my Christian journey. Amen. To God, Yahuwah be the glory through Jesus Christ Yahusha HaMashiach my Lord Amen